Hello Aquarius, welcome to your Buildies Turning to Love reading for this week. The questions we're going to ask today is how does your person see you and how do you see them? What do they want and what do you want? What are their fears, your fears, the connection do you share between you and this week's final outcome? This is for Aquarius. 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 So we've got someone taking a risk and being, could be a risk at work. Uh, this is the work card, taking a chance, a game, playing games, taking a chance, taking a risk, wanting change. Okay, and it could be at work. Uh, could also be being sneaky peeky, you know, doing things behind the scenes. Also could be a bit of um, uh, doing anything it takes to get what they want, energy. Could be also the perfect partner, because <laughs> so that box has so many meanings. Uh, but it looks like someone wants to take a chance with you. Alright, so let's find out how your person sees you. They see you as distant, growing distant. Okay, could be emotionally or geographically distant. How do you see your person? How do you see your person, Aquarius? The key, new beginning. So you see them as a new beginning or having a new beginning, a portal to something new. Um, and they see you as uh, distant, far, could be geographic, emotional distance. What does your person want? Oh my goodness. Okay, what does your... Okay. They want, they want you to make a decision, maybe. So let's see. Or a decision needs to be made. So what does your person want? Okay, book. So that is the key to this book. So how you see them, the key to knowledge okay so what do they want they want to find out more okay this is secret knowledge hidden things things that are unknown delving deeper finding out okay so they want to find out more get to know you better okay how you see them as some kind of key to a new beginning a new start so what do you want Aquarius what do you want Aquarius Okay, you've got to look deeper because you've got the big attraction for them. Okay, so you want to get to know them deeper, uh, deeper better, more, uh, because you've got the big feels for them. You're just sort of really feeling, feeling them in a big way. Uh, the attraction is there. What is your person's fears, Aquarius? What is your person's fears? Okay, public. Uh, public recognition uh, going out in the public this is something to do with the outside world also online okay this is online uh, maybe that things are going to stay online because I can see the distance is there um, but also maybe public you know maybe they want to keep things hush hush maybe so when I clarify I'll tell you more what are your fears Aquarius well perfect counterparts this is perfect. Your fears are the attraction and how strong it is. Maybe that they don't have the feels for you the way you do for them, but I can tell you that they do. Okay, so let's find out the connection between you, Aquarius, and your person. Commitment. Wow, you're both committed to each other. All right, so there is commitment here. Um, and I just saw the puppy faithfulness. So, yeah, this is pretty big, heavy-duty stuff between you and your person, Aquarius. The stars could be online, could be someone that's well-known, celebrity status. All right, so let's find out the outcome this week for you and your person. Uh, taking a risk, taking a chance. All right, very interesting. So why do we have ship here for Aquarius' person? Aquarius uh, person sees Aquarius as the ship distance. High Priestess is secrets, secret uh, spark, secret chemistry, secret beginning in something 
magnetic. All right, why do we have the ship here taking control? Oh my god, and we've got this taking control of heartache. Aha, uh -huh. and so that's why you're probably a um, little bit emotionally distant from your person because you're trying to control your emotions because you've gone through heartache, you're trying to avoid heartache. Uh, Aquarius and they see you as distant emotionally because you're trying to avoid heartache and being in control of your emotions and how do you see them as a catalyst a start a new beginning an opening in a, a forked road okay so you see your person as a forked road so you see them as a decision there's a forked road ahead so what does your person want? You've got the closed book. Um, they want to get to know you better. You both want to get to know each other better. So why do we have the book here? Uh, holding on to knowledge. So everything you say, everything you do, everything you share together stays with them <laughs> very deeply. They're holding on to all the knowledge that you give them they're holding on to you and everything you say stays with them and it goes straight to their heart okay they're holding on to everything you say what do you want Aquarius you've got the attraction and you've got the well uh, you're a little bit confused so you're trying to find things out trying to find out more about your person because maybe they're confused maybe you're fantasizing about them because this this hot person is here <laughs> and so you're probably trying to um, get to know them more and you're fantasizing about them and you're a little bit confused a lot of options a lot of things you know that you're thinking about regarding your person and you're trying to find out more because you've got the feels for them so their fears are the public or could be online why uh, Okay, so this I oh, will have to clarify that again. So some kind of disinterest. They're not interested in what people say or what people do or what people think. They don't care what people say. They, they don't care. It's like, I don't want to know what people are saying about me. I, I don't care. They're a very independent thinker. They could be a Pisces. Um, they, they really don't care what people think or say. They just want to do it their way. Um, And so, you know, it's like I'm not interested in what people say. I'm, I'm not interested in the public, you know. So I'll clarify that. Uh, so why do we have this this lady here, uh, the Divine Feminine, for your fears? Wow, because you've got the big feels for that person. Your fears are how magnetic you feel, how strong the attraction is. Um, and how big your feelings are growing for them um, and they see you as emotionally distant because you're obviously trying to control your feelings um, but your feelings are very big and you've got the big feels okay uh, intense uh, physical feelings uh, so the connection is sorry cards just did a funky thing. Uh, the ring, which means commitment, marriage, uh, joining of forces, could be a contract. So the connection could be a work partnership. So the commitment is uh, standing your ground. I'm committed. <laughs> Someone is committed. Um, and they're standing their ground. Could be protecting the connection between you. I'll clarify that and see why that's there. So we've got taking a risk, uh, Knight of Wands. Someone's taking a risk by visiting the other. Taking a risk by coming over, hanging out, maybe. Yeah. All right. So um, change. Not interested in change because of the public. So their fears are things are going to change and they're not interested in what the public say. They, they want things to change. They're not interested in the public. What the public think. They, they want things to change anyway. 
because they don't care about what the public say, says or thinks. So why do we have the ring with seven of wands? Someone is standing their ground. They're not negotiating about a commitment. Why? Oh my goodness, distant horizons. Ah, uh, okay. So your emotional distance uh, is making your person stand their ground, say nope. No, no, I'm committed. I'm not going anywhere. This is going to happen. I'm here. I'm not going. You know, you can't make me. <laughs> I'm not leaving no matter what. I don't care what people say. I don't care what people think. I want change with you. All right? I want to change things. Doesn't matter what you say, it's going to happen. And so they're standing the ground. I don't care if you're distant or what you're going through. I'm committed to seeing this through. And they're taking a risk and they're going to come towards you. So tell me a little bit more about the Nine of Wands. Should I? Do I even need to ask? Wow, there you go. See, marriage. Okay. Union. Nine of Wands coming in and reunion. All right, how beautiful. Taking a risk with that too at the end of the week. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> you won't need good luck. It looks like it's pretty fun. All right, I send you love, peace, and light always. Bye for now.